Hello guys, and today we are playing Red Dead Redemption once more, except this time I, uh, they actually made it backwards compatible for Xbox One, so they're taking more steps in making backwards compatibility a lot better. I mean, they're still online and everything, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, really neat, and P.S., this is gonna be a storyline, I think that I'll try to do a walkthrough, and, uh, yeah. This is uh, definitely going to have those spoilers for the storyline, at least the starting points. So if you're not past the point that I'm at, then please don't watch this if you're offended by spoilers or something. But, you know, you've been warned. So, let's watch cutscene. This is Blackwater. This uh, area of the map is, but is cut off until you do some missions and stuff. Mm -hmm. The side of the first part of this game is pretty much just cutscenes, but. to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My dad settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us. Please, you how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. <laughs> What I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happy now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was an actual belief. Well, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, the Tom family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. Mm -hmm. I hate that saying. Money can't buy everything. Oh, Your yes, it can. The idea is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization 
They are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing, but you only have to ask me. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush, Armadillo. Everyone get off the train, off the train. Upside down. It, this is pretty much the game's tutorial in the opening scene, and, uh, well, obviously it's not gonna have us suddenly shoot the town, but there's, a uh, pretty much there's people who are wanted, and they threaten to kill our family. I mean, you only learn this a bit more later on. Yeah, it's still gonna need these tutorials. Alright, well, let's go on. I got my cattle man and my knife. Yeah, I actually have, I believe, some DLC for the game. So I actually have different outfits, I believe, that I already have, which is pretty cool. So I'm not showing sure every single aspect, but I, I do have the Undead Nightmare DLC. Follow Jake to the horses. Okay. That's doing good. Oh God! What? I accidentally pressed Y. Okay, so RB. Are you? Nope. I'm just 
chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. Here's my question. Fort Mercer is apparently a hard place to get into, yet Marston can get into it. The other thing, I'm not going to be using cheats because if you do use cheats, it actually means that what will happen is you literally can't even shoot the gun when you get to the end part. Meaning that no, you cannot beat the game with cheats. That's Fort Mercer. My question, how come somehow no military officials have ever managed to Mr. take Mr. out every single one of them? This year is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we park ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> See you, Jake. I have a good feeling though that I'll see you, see see your voice as someone else. That's yeah, so my Calamon revolver is gold. Cause why not? I'm a knife fighter. Try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seem to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. No more Dutch. And no more you. I, I implore you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor kid. Well, I mean, it was 3v1. What did you expect? And really, he should have immediately just backed off and then went to cover and started shooting. It would have worked out a lot better than, you know, anything else. New friends and old problems. <sighs> How much does that take? Fourteen minutes just for that. 
Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was, oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. She left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance for old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him a long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And uh, what will you do now? Now I'm going to take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. Then I could just exactly. hunt some stuff, head down to Armadillo, sell skins, and then give you 15 bucks. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. We kind of just got to finish this, and then I think we'll be done, because the cutscene took a while. I mean, that was just one giant 15-minute cutscene, which kind of sucks. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. $15 in today's economy for that really would uh, be a seriously cheap price, but back now, well back then, which is pretty much the time phase we are in in the game, oh god, money is worth a lot more than it is today. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Mr. Farmer. Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get your bearings. Yeah! Really? I think we're gonna end it off and then I'm just gonna do a continuation so we can save pretty much. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Don't want the tour yet? That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself. 
Alright guys, well I think I'll have to end the episode off with that. I'm sorry that uh, this episode didn't contain much action, but you know. Because this is going to be a walkthrough and not just gameplay, I'm going to be trying to include the entire story and not much free roam. I'll do free roam though in probably like two or three parts after this just to, you know, see stuff. And uh, yeah, anyways guys, I think I'll end off the video with that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.